Eric Mwadeth, Mwadeth.com, with a weekend market analysis for world markets for the weekend of May 16th and May 17th, 2015. Let's take a look at how Asia closed on Friday. We can see the biggest mover being China, which was down 1.57. Most of the markets were mixed. Japan was up slightly. Oh, look at Hong Kong, which was up about 2%. And we see that the Kospi was down slightly. Australia was up also slightly. So that's how markets did close on Friday in Europe, in Asia, for the most part. Take a look at Europe, and we see that at the close of Friday's trade, most European markets did end slightly down. Uh, and the German market being down, I would say, the most um, down about 1%. The rest of the markets were down slightly, 0.71 for the French market, 0.18 for the FTSE. So let's take a look at the world markets and see what the charts do look like. But before we do, just a quick look here, we can take a look at the Americas and take a look at what Brazil is doing since we'll discuss Brazil in this video and it is up right now about 0.58 for the day. And right now, the U.S. market with about three hours to go before the close, it is trading pretty much unchanged, slightly down. So the U.S. markets right now with about two hours to go, called lower slightly or unchanged for the day. Let's begin by taking a look at Canadian market, which is right now uh, slightly lower for the week. We come back to this level on the weekly where we've been seeing resistance and we haven't been able to move above this line of resistance. So that continues to be a problem in that market. Interestingly enough, if we take a look at the daily, we see that there is reason for the daily to continue looking good. Couple of observations. A, we are holding here above the upward trending 200 day moving average. So that is offering some type of support here. We also see that on the RSI, we have this line connecting previous lows and going touching this lows here in October, close to this lows in December, lows of March. And now looks like we are forming a nice double bottom on the daily RSI. Indication could be there that the market wants to move higher based on this line. If the market can continue building on that, that's going to suggest a market that is going to be moving higher. Otherwise, if we break that line, that's going to be the signal that the market is poised to go lower. If we spend a second taking a look at the Canadian market hourly, we can see that on the RSI, we are showing resistance on this line here, which has been resistance the last couple of weeks. Every time the RSI gets here, we get a pullback. And the reason why I bring this up is because right now we are back to this resistance line. And depending on how things play out, this could be where this market stalls. So right here, we are seeing the potential for resistance right now on an hour to hour basis, maybe a pullback unless the market can move above that recent line of resistance. So it needs to be above this recent line of resistance if the market is going to see higher prices. The reason why I say that is if we take a look at the Dow hourly, we can see that the Dow hourly is also showing short term resistance based on the top side hourly chart. So here we see that over the last day, We've been coming here and at the highs the market is stalling if that's the case this could confirm that the canadian market and the u.s markets which tend to be in sync are due to pull back hour to hour now we take a look at the brazilian daily remember it's up slightly on friday so it is trading a little bit higher and we see that that makes a lot of sense because it has come back to the level where we were talking about last weekend which is this line on the rsi and why this line because once we broke out here in April, which is this entry level, the market has gone to record higher prices. And since then, every time we come back to the back test of this line, the market has been finding support. We held above the line there, which were the lows there. We are now holding back at the line, which are the recent daily lows. So as long as the market is holding above this line here, or this line extension on the daily for the Brazilian market, we should expect this market to continue at least grinding higher. We see here the possibility of a crossover between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average, which generally tends to indicate that the market is looking to stay stable, if not might even see higher prices. Now let's take a look at some European markets. We begin by taking a look at the French market. And we see that 
after this recent pullback of recent highs, it has come to a level where it seems to be stabilizing based on the daily RSI, connecting the lows like that. This is where the market has come here. We seem to have formed a nice triple bottom over the last couple of days. And as long as this line is holding, I would expect the French market to also be looking to go higher. Otherwise, we know that this could be a problem if and when we break below that simple line. So that's what to watch for. Above the line, the market should be okay. Also, we see that the recent line of support, which is right there, this green line is where the market has been seeing recent lows. As an example, it made lows here when it moved below the green line and back above it with uniform activity, which was these lows. Uniform activity below the green line, back above it, which was these lows there. So that's where the market has been finding support. As of right now, it looks like it is also giving support having seen the market come back to that level and it has held so those two lines should give an indication of how european markets mostly and generally speaking are holding well having found support on those two lines on the daily rsi we take a look at the german market daily and it too even though it had a down session on friday but continues to still show support even after that down session connecting the lows the market is still holding above that line and it is also holding above the prior line of support here and this line was instrumental in beginning the move off the lows so we moved off the lows here which is this entry we came here and kissed the line and moved higher and over the last couple of days actually last week or so we came here and we did see double bottom support on that green line indicating that the market is seeing some stability and could actually continue to move higher as long as it is trading above this line and also trading above this green line all right we take a look at the london market now and if we take a look at the FTSE, we see that it too had already seen support on the daily based on this support so going back about a week ago it found support here so as, as long as it is holding above this line of support, one can expect the market to be okay. You can also see that there seems to be some type of a wedge forming here on the daily, depending on how you want to draw it. There's a wedge or even a recent wedge. So let me draw that from the recent point of view, which we can see that on the top side, there's resistance here. On the bottom side, this becomes a problem because it is finding uh, both resistance and support on this line every time they come in contact so eventually if we can move above that wedge that could be short-term bullish if we break below this daily wedge that could be short-term bearish if we take a look at another european market which is the swedish market by request we can see here that it recently came back to a line of support as of last weekend or last week it came back to this nice entry level here which was this breakout on the rsi and we draw a line off that you can see that the Swedish market came here and held support which could be the reason why we see that it is having a nice bounce off this low so as long as it's holding above the green line I would expect that this is yet another market uh, across the globe that is showing support on the daily charts let's take a look at Hong Kong remember Hong Kong was up 2% on Friday so the chart should be showing a slight higher move here based on Friday's close, which also shows support here on the daily. This makes a lot of sense. The reason being that the line we've been watching, this line, which was instrumental for this breakout. So there was a breakout right there above the declining previous RSI declining line. And that breakout corresponds with a price breakout here. And now the market has come back to test this breakout line. You can see now we've seen double bottom support on the back test that could be the reason technically why we have this nice surge on friday and yet another wild market showing daily support on its chart if we take a look at china which was down on friday but i don't think that really changes a lot because we can see that every time it's been coming back to support zone on this level here it has been bouncing most recently bounced on the green line as we discussed nice entry there previously held that line nice entry going back even 
to last year in October, it held that same line. And even here in mid of last year, 2014, it started the move of this bounce here. So this line has been where the Chinese market has been finding support on pullbacks and the market continues, in my opinion, to trade well. In fact, if you take a look at the reasons why, it's because the weekly continues trading well above 69.1 on the weekly. It's a strong market and it's been holding above 69.1 since late last year during this move here at about 2200. So the 69.1 level has been instrumental for a nice move. Take a look at the monthly, which we, we've been discussing almost every weekend, last couple of months. It's been trading above 69.10 also, going back to sometime late 2014. So that threshold continues to hold very well. So even with, even with pullbacks, this is a market that should continue to trade well. And for those of you who haven't been following this, it's because that every time you have a market, a major market trading above 69.1, you have a chance of seeing this type of a move like we did in 2006, 2007, when the RSI was holding above 69.1, which is the case right now, we continue to hold above that 69.1 level. If we take a look at the South Korean market, we can see the South Korean market is also showing nice daily support based on how you draw the recent lows on the RSI. The stock is holding on the support line there and also happens to be where it needed to find support here. And this line is can be drawn off this short term breakout. That breakout here began the move of these levels. Since then, you can see that the market has gone on to trade very well. So here is a good market came here and tested the 50 on the daily RSI and held which are the lows there, previously tested the 50 on the daily RSI here, which was those lows. And even here, it had tested the 50 on the daily, which were those lows. So we see that it had come back to a level around the 50 on the daily RSI and held. So there is your sign that this market, or at least the Cosby, continues to look stable, if not outright bullish. Let's take a look at the Japanese market. And as you can see, Japanese market did continue to hold this past week above the 50-day moving average and keep in mind that last weekend we talked about the market coming back and testing this line of support and it held very well now this has been where it began this short-term entry of the lows of October and since then the market has been using that line for support which was during these lows here we came recently over the last week or so held that line and we seem to be holding well. So as long as that market continues to have that support, one can assume that this market is also, or at least the Japanese market, the Nikkei, is holding very well on the daily. Let's take a look at Australia, which also had a nice day on Friday and making a lot of sense because it came back or has come back to a level where it began this move of these lows. And this move began here. Quite simply, it was a short term breakout on the RSI here. We draw a simple uniformity straight line like that. And we have come here shown support. If that's the case, we can see that this is a logical place around here to go along. As long as the market is holding firmly above this line, something it did with uniform activity here. So that market continues to look good. Um, the only problem with the Australian market is when you look at the monthly, for example, right now, the monthly shows resistance based on the top side right here. Very simple line. As long as this is showing resistance, maybe this market doesn't have the momentum to record higher prices. Also, if we take a look at the weekly, we see that every time we come back to this level here, we stall on the weekly, just like we did at recent highs here. So even though it's continuing to hold, hold, hold up well, eh, the weekly still needs to prove itself and the monthly still needs to prove itself. Even though we can see that this recent breakout here seems to have held. So this breakout was being tested in the past week and the market did manage to hold above that line. So maybe it's a sideways market for now, but we can see that the monthly is what is a problem based on the fact that the monthly seems to be showing resistance. And until the monthly can break out above these two lines, 
this line showing the tops and also this line here until the monthly can break out above those two lines the Australian market should be a little bit suspect for a long-term breakout if we take a look at two African markets we begin by taking a look at the Nigerian market by way of the US ETF NGE and we see that it is still holding this continuing to construct a wedge and eventually we break out or break down of this wedge with a push above it for a bullish move or a break below it for a bearish move we can also see that the daily is testing this prior short-term breakout there was a breakout above previous declining RSI resistance there for this entry and now we are trying to coil back above that line if the market can successfully move above that back test line and also if we can break out here that could begin a nice move in the market otherwise it continues to be suspect because crude oil seems to be showing some type of resistance on the weekly charts something I'll discuss in part two of this weekend's market analysis video if we take a look at the South African market which came off the highs recently and back here testing the 50-day moving average which seems to be holding so the 50 seems to be holding which is good and we also back to off the lows here which was this entry in price we can see that the market went on to record nice highs so this entry here can be seen from this RSI breakout something around there we draw a line from there as we always do with the uniformity action you can see this became support with uniform action bounce which was that entry and recently we've come here we've held above the line with uniform activity which makes this a logical place to revisit the market hoping and thinking that eventually it does attempt to break out past recent daily and weekly closing highs I've been talking about the Russian market by way of the RSX the last couple of weekends stating that it needs to be above this line which was prior resistance right now we see that it is trading at recent highs or daily highs because it is holding above the same line also this line of support as long as it is holding above those two lines this is a market that could slowly be moving and pushing and recording short-term highs just because it is holding and trading well above the support line on the lows and also above the previous breakout level so the Russian market there does look a little bit stable and could be looking to record higher prices next let's take a look at the Indian market if you take a look at the Indian market which had a nice close or at least a positive close this past week up about a percentage point for the week and when you look at the weekly chart it might not seem like it is a very important support on the RSI but I'll show you why this is a make or break situation for the Indian market in fact if you go back a couple of years this is now a weekly chart what you have in front of you is a weekly chart going back to 2009 just want to show you this straight line on the weekly RSI connecting the lows in 2011 lows of 2013 draw a straight line from there you can see that this is where the Indian markets needs to find support if it can find support and build on this support on a weekly basis that's gonna be good enough support to at least see the market at the very least attempt to break out past recent weekly closing highs so this line does need to hold based on that previous lows going back to 2011 now if you stretch this and go even further so now on a weekly chart connecting the lows of 2008 again very important support because if you go to the lows here this low in 2008 lows of 2011 lows of 2013 and the current level here you can see that it connects to a very straight line so quite simply put and to summarize where the Indian market is trading it's a make or break above the line and if it can show support then this is where you'd expect it to start moving higher otherwise the problem here is that if it breaks that support line that's gonna be a signal that the bear market has begun as far as the nifty is concerned Eric Moado with Moado.com otherwise be on the lookout for part one of the US market analysis sometime on Saturday good luck peace and blessings Woo!